Do you want to do it right now? Yeah. I don't have the energy for this. <laughs> it's Chelsea at the movies! Yay! We went and saw Jordan Peele's Us. So this movie, uh, Jordan Peele, if you don't know, his first movie was Get Out. This movie, like that movie, also falls into, I guess, a suspense horror kind of Psychological genre. Psychological thriller slash horror. Genre. But what he did in Get Out was, I guess it's called an allegory, where you use the genre to tell like a to make a commentary on something going on in the world. And in that movie, it was race relations. So he did something similar with this movie. And we are following a family. There's a family of four, mom, dad, daughter, son. And they are on vacation. And then some crazy things start to happen, right? And they, you know this from the trailers, they come across a family that is them. And that's kind of where the trailers leave you and you go into the movie to watch it and see what happened yeah. and yeah and I went into this movie fully expecting that there was going to be a commentary that this was meant to to draw put a spotlight on something else going on not just you know to scare me for scaring sake go wait or skip Kelsey uh, it was really hard for me to decide what to say here I did not enjoy watching this movie and I didn't enjoy it despite it being stylistically pleasing well made, with a lot of great performances, and some jump scares, and also I'm a fan of this genre of movie, I didn't really enjoy the movie because the setup to the movie didn't make any sense to me, and it wasn't scary. That's all there is. But at the same time, so, so I'm not going to say skip it though. So it was either go or wait, and ultimately I decided, because like I said, it's a really well made movie. If you're interested in the film, and social allegories and all that kind of stuff, maybe you want to go see it. But for me, for a Kelsey who just goes to the movie, first and foremost to be entertained and to enjoy the movie, I say wait to see it till it comes out. It is not anywhere as good as Get Out, and the audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes are starting to reflect that. They're like 78-ish. Okay. Last time I saw the them, which was... The score are really high, though. Chris score is 95, and when I looked at the mail, it's like, this movie will be like a 79 or so. And then that's what the audience is giving you right now. So I think yeah. that's closer to the kind of movie. It's a good movie, but not a great movie. Like Kelsey, I agree that like the production value, the dialogue, the performances, like, um, well, I don't know. Sometimes the dialogue could have been a little bit better, but like the score was really good. Uh, the visually, um, what Jordan Peele does with like the uh, camera is really good, and in the horror genre, so to be able to get the jump scares and stuff like that, I think he did, like, it was it was good, like, uh, it was there. But this movie was missing, like, some big thing because, like, the story just didn't come together. And it was clearly trying to, like, have a commentary on something else, but, like, that fell apart too, and I so I just felt like it didn't work, so I'm actually going to say skip. Wow. Um, I just, and I didn't think I'd say this last night, but, yeah, I just can't. I even feel like if you really like movies, I think your time could be better spent watching something else that maybe you haven't seen yet. M maybe just, you haven't seen Get Out yet. Yeah, <laughs> a lot better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just, so, spoilers. Spoilers. This and to be clear, like, this is spoilers. Like, if you haven't seen the movie and you're going to see it, do not watch this part of the review. The movie's not very good. <laughs> the movie, I, my biggest problem with the movie is that I don't understand the choices many of the characters can make. I feel like they're inconsistent. At one moment, they're cowering in fear from people in yeah. their yard. And the next minute, they're counting. Like, within the next, like... 30 minutes, they're counting number of kills. And yeah, that's, a, that's, that's like, like a unrealistic... It went from like the like beginning of the season of The Walking Dead yeah, to like the end years. of that season. But like those people had all that time to become yeah. like hardened by their like apocalyptic lifestyle. And this family did it within hours. Main, another main problem I have with this movie is that the story on its own doesn't make any sense. Like the different pieces of the story are fun and interesting and I want to say this carefully this movie um, this movie you can't really see where it's going like it there's all these new concepts and yeah. ideas and it's like oh this is cool 
But at the same time, it's entirely predictable. The end to me was like, yeah, clearly, like, they didn't tell us. But it starts with something that happens when she's a little girl, and then at the end, you're like, well, yeah, it never showed us all of this, so that means, filmmaking rules, that something else <laughs> happened than, than you assume. And Which for, is fine if it would have worked. It didn't work. But, like, the end didn't work. No. Like, it just... So, like, the commentary, like, can be two things. Like, one thing is that the American people, we are our own worst enemy. So, like, yeah, the family, that's, that's what it was us. About. That's like, that's social... them. And then the other commentary was about uh, inequality. And this can be, you know, primarily in the U.S., we have a big I... thing about income in inequality. Yeah. And so that's what, like, these two families, right, the two families that matched up, I thought it was going to be particularly um, for African Americans that, like the modern wealthy, maybe African American, or not wealthy, middle class African American, has forgotten like where they came from. Later in the movie, the, there's a white family, and they also have an us family, and yeah, then you find out that it's like the whole world, maybe, or all of the United States. It's kind of hard to tell. I listened a little bit of Jordan Hill talk about that movie, and he was more interested in the connection in society. And when I heard him talk, the thing I made up about what he said was like, oh, kind of like how we, how there's an us and there's an other. And so in our country right now, a we lot of people feel yeah. like, a lot of people feel like, like we want, we're talking about a country that wants to build a wall from the other, from yeah. these people that if you, if you could, you could put that in the movie as like the haves and the have nots as well. And yeah. it was more around that kind of social stuff for everybody. Okay. And that makes sense. It's just that, like, in the movie, like, it didn't all, like, play out because there were right. so many things that were distracting. So, like, what you said, how the family quickly became very hardened. The other thing was, okay, so you had the, the black family, right? Well, their us family didn't kind of toyed with them. But then when we went to the white family's house, their us family immediately killed them. Everybody like they were else just seemed like, to immediately kill. That was like, I didn't understand. And then understand. when they turned on the news, they yeah. learned that this was like widespread. It seemed like everybody else was just dead. But this family somehow, yeah, even though they responded like in weird ways, like the father like had a bat, but he quickly like lost it. And then like he was hurt and crawling around and was like, why didn't this guy kill him? Like I don't understand what they were waiting on. Yeah. And why how was did he, he take him away? to the boat to kill? It doesn't make none of the choices. So that, that stuff was all like really distracting. Yeah. And then like so the main lead in the character is the mother and wife. Like she's the lead and her us person is the other lead. We get this really long monologue kind of towards the end that I found like it explained everything, right? Like she had lived like underground and she didn't have things and these were clones of the people that were kind of mimicked the people on the surface but like they were created by scientists and then they were forgotten about so they've been living in these tunnels under the like united states for a long time that's a big ass whoa like what the and it was like this long monologue in this like she has this, this like Too much weird exposition. way that she talks that's hard to hear and I was like, well, this is distracting, and why do I care about this? None of this is scary. And then, like, at the end, yeah, you had the flashback that starts the movie from the mom when she's a little girl. And at the end, what you find out is that her us person and that little girl actually traded places then. So she was on the surface, and she's an, an us person this whole time. Yeah. Then she kills the, the original little girl, is what we find out. And then, like, she goes back, like, with her son, and her son is, like, kind of looking at her like this. Why would he... But why does he care? That his is his mom. Like, his mom is an us person. Yeah. Like, and then there was a lot of, like, like, they kept rep referencing Jeremiah 11, 11, which is a verse taken out of context um, that is, like, about God the Father, like... Um, angry about something but like when you read Old Testament you have to read it in context but like this one verse was taken and tried to bring God into this because like the us people like maybe didn't have souls why is this in the movie like I don't understand what it has well, to do it's with it's a cheap way to give a movie substance like we see this a lot in culture they'll use Christianity or other religions yeah you can but like, like it just didn't work yeah. like it 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 totally was all of this was distracting, and then the movie ends, and I'm like, why does this little boy care? This is his mom. Like, there's nothing to care about. Like, 
it just it would have made sense if the other mom would have killed his real mom and he would have yeah. been like hey which mom are you but that's not what happened and it couldn't have happened because they had completely different hair and yeah. it was just so that, like i found the whole movie so frustrating i am really surprised that critics gave it a 95 percent I read two critic reviews, and basically what they said is like, yeah, the movie has holes and didn't work, but man, Jordan Peele did a really good job, and we're excited what's going to come from it. Yeah, it's like... And I'm like, you can't rate this movie based on his potential. Like, yeah, it's, it's a weird, like, if you rate a movie, I, I just don't understand that. Or if you're going to do that, then you guys need to all go back and re-rate uh, M. Night Shyamalan movies, because <laughs> he came out of the gate, like, stellar, and then after that, you guys were so hard on him. Yeah, and right. I feel like Jordan yeah. Peele it's should have the weird. same thing. He was great with Get Out, but this was not good. This movie wasn't, like, terrible, but I thought it was I thought it was made well, and yeah, if, you're, if I'm interested in him as a director, I'm like, yeah, this guy... He looks like he's going to make some really awesome movies or yeah. interesting movies. I still think that's going to happen, but I'm not going to be like, not, not, I'm, you know, give him extra points for like taking a good swing at it because yeah. the biggest thing for me, and if you're a film student or interested in those kind of things, but there's a lot in here. Like he said it was a big deal for him, for the main characters to be people of color. Um, he wanted that. And then they had one of the lead actors talk about growing up and watching horror movies and knowing that when he watched a horror movie, if there were five people left, the person of color wasn't going to yeah. be one of the last people alive, and that how he couldn't enjoy horror movies because of that. Mm -hmm. And so if that kind of stuff interests you or it, or is part of your life experience, then yeah, like maybe this is important and special and all that. Yeah. But at the same time, like you would probably want, if I was in that situation, I'd be like, well, I'd want it to be a better movie. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. This movie had so many holes in it, it just didn't work. The other thing is, is I get easily scared by movies. Mm -hmm. Not scared. Like, this all. movie did not stay with me. It wasn't me. scary, which is why I was I like, it had movies. jump scares in it. I remember, like, grabbing Kelsey, so I appreciated that, and I like that. But, like, if you think you're going to be, like, scared, I found the trailers scarier. The trailers were really great. It's like, just, I remember watching the trailer for the first time, and that night, I was scared when I went to bed. I had really high expectations for this movie, because I love Get Out. I think that's a fantastic piece of film and art and all yeah. that stuff. And then this movie, I was like, I was so excited, because it's going to be scary, and it looks nuts. But then I, when the movie, as the movie was on, I was like, this movie isn't scary at all, really. It just, like it didn't I don't understand the, any of the characters, any of their choices, or how they act from one minute to the next. Yeah. And then the whole, again, like, it's a bunch of pieces that... It's almost like he tried to make this big social allegory with, and that's good, like, if he wants to do yeah. that. But you better have this linear story that you can follow. They have to be able to sense. exist, like, yeah. The story has right. to be able to exist on its own, because that's the most important part, at least to a Kelsey. <laughs> but the most important part for you is to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, because it helps the channel grow. And we appreciate it. And, yeah, yeah. let us know what you thought about the movie. Maybe we're being too hard on it. You can tell me that. I don't Say, love. Rachel, you're being too hard on it. Yeah, I love Jordan Peele. He's pretty <laughs> awesome. I think that him and I would be good on a tandem bicycle together. Oh, okay. I'd be like, get out of here. Get out of the way, Keegan. Keegan Key 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 get Beyonce. I might be on it with him. And then I would be rich and oh, famous. Oh, you're saying. And then I would be rich and famous, wouldn't I, sir? Okay. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I don't have that timeline.